the biggest thing for me to have this as the ultimate survival rifle is a survival kit. Obviously, this is just a, uh, an, an outer, this is a butt pad um, pack. Has, you know, area, you know, pocket here for a lot more ammunition. And then it has the, the strip on the outside. Now this comes off, and then you've got the survival kit on the inside. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so here we have the um, the survival kit that's actually going to be within the butt um, of the little badger. Um, this is why I call it the ultimate survival rifle because not just because you're going to be carrying a lot of the, maybe some of this kit in a bag, but for some reason you've lost your bag but you've still got your rifle. This is what you've got within your rifle. So I decided to go with. Um, elastic bands rather than using a zip tie to keep these this together um, purely and simply because the elastic bands can be used as a um, spring mechanism if you're going to use some of the cordage that's are on the um, sling as um, traps you can use the, uh, the elastic bands as a spring me spring mechanism so what we have in here is a, I mean, a quite comprehensive from what I can think I can put in here. Um, fishing kit. It's a very, very small hand, hand fishing kit. Um, it's got four pound monofilament line on it. And then attached is um, hooks um, with cell tape and paper. I always carry my hooks like this, make sure that I don't, was my hooks I can take them off one one hook at a time and then inside you got um, a small disgorger um, to get the hooks out of the fish mouth and then you got split shot hooks and then um, weights for doing le ledgering um, technique so you can catch fish on the float and on the bottom of the, the water um, I would say we need to have a signal. So signaling, you got a um, mirror, uh, signaling mirror for our aircraft. So you can, if you're out, you can be found hopefully in signal. Um, a small, this is actually just a um, fruit knife from the store. Um, I've been carrying this. If you check out any of the, my really old films, I used to carry one of these. Um, I still got it in one of the boxes somewhere um, as my neck knife before I started buying likes of the Eldris or um, some of the cheaper brands when he was really starting off with, for budget. And I bought like four or five of these because they are, I mean, extremely strong, very sharp. It's got a really nice edge on it. So I'd be able to use that easily. And then that, having a, a scabbard stops it cutting your kit. Um, I have at the back there is aqua tabs, obviously for water purification, and then I have a um, stand-up bag, uh, which is a liter, so it's a liter bag, and then at the bottom, and this is a whirl pack. A world pack bag it comes in bags of th packs of three from amazon um it's got a gusset at the bottom so once you've got a liter of water in it it'll actually stand up stand up straight so you got a liter of water plus your aqua tabs because you got your water covered um very cheap uh, it's a blue flame uh lighter i like blue flames it burns things really quickly um this is a, a metal straw for being able to get your uh, fire embers back up and running without getting your face close to the, the fire. I love these, I've got about th you know, maybe two or three of these, maybe even three or four of these in different bags. Um, a night eyes light, it's not exactly, you know, I'm gonna probably put in a, a different flashlight, but this one's, you know, ideal for just hanging on your neck or for signaling, uh, you know, be able to see that for quite a distance hopefully 
but night eyes is easy it just clips on my stuff um small tin which contains um petroleum soaked cotton balls same as most people carry because that's a stupid easy way to get a fire on the go um this is a sol um, heat sheet this is a two person heat sheet so it's definitely big enough to cover myself um, or probably even to make a or easily make a, um, a lean to to keep the crap off you overnight if it's raining so you got shelter on the go and a foil um, this is a better Betty Crocker pipe up so the only problem with these is these are a one time deal because once you open this up to, to fold it again generally where corners are the corners will fail um, so I'm not a great lover of these but as a one time deal and then obviously once it's open you use it until you need it and then you throw it but it's never going to case of use it, fold it and put it away again so this is one time deal opening then there's a zipper pack uh, but um, this is just a, a dollar store um, um, pencil case that I took off the uh, the zipper because the zipper I didn't like where the zipper was. Um, anyway, um, wire saw. These have come a great way since the cheap crap things that you used to buy like 20 years ago. Um, because they have um, multiple braids, generally these don't break. So, yeah, wire saw. So I can process wood. Um, Fox 40 whistle and a um, small power steel with striker um, I can't remember the brand of this but this gives out really nice gobs of fire um, that really will it's not one of these Coleman kind of crap things I um, can't remember who it was it's all this it's driving me nuts and I've had it for a while and just had it in a different bag so I can't remember who it was, but this is an awesome little fire. And that is it. So that is why I call this the ultimate, because you've got, you know, I've got light, which I'll probably have to upgrade. Um, I've got covering, I've got combustion, I've got fishing, I've got water, I've got water purification, um, fire. So this, this would save my ass and all this is that I'm lucky that this weighs only 1.1 pounds. So one pound, one ounce at the back of the rifle. And that only makes the, the rifle a total of a little under four pounds. So I'm okay with that. Okay. Hey guys, if you liked that video, you're going to love this video. Check it out. Thanks very much. See you later.